Okay, good morning. Today we will discuss uh, mains questions related to quant. This is the quant clerical level mains question. Let us see question number one. A milkman has 160 liters of pure milk and he mixes a certain quantity of water in it and to make a profit of 25 percent by selling the mixture at the milk cost price. If the cost price of the pure milk is 48 per liter, the shopkeeper is mixing Q liter of water in 160 liters of pure milk, then find the value of Q plus 8. Now, if you see here, we are having milk, then we are having water. If you mix milk and water, it is the mixture. Now, milk we are having 160 liters, water we are adding Q liters. Therefore, mixture will be 160 plus Q. <coughs> For milk, the cost price of the milk is 48 rupees. We are selling the mixture. We are selling the mixture at 25 percent profit. 25 percent profit at milk cost price. Find the value of Q plus 8. So, total cost price of the milk will be total cost price of the milk will be 160 into 48 because 1 liter milk is 48 rupees. Total selling price of the mixture will be 160 plus x into 48 or 160 plus q into 48. Mixture means milk and water we are selling for 48. Now, profit percent is 25 percent profit percent is given 25 percent. If profit percent is 25 percent, profit percent formula profit by cost price into 100. So, profit is nothing but difference of selling price minus cost price. What is the difference of this selling price minus cost price? Now, if you see here, this is 160 into 48 this also 160 into 48 both will get cancelled it is 48 q so directly we can write 48 q by what is the cost price 160 into 48 what is the profit we are getting 25 percent 25 percent is nothing but 1 by 4 48 48 cancel 4 ones 4 40 therefore q value you will get 40 we want q plus 8, q plus 8 is equal to 48, this is the correct answer. So, option 3 is the correct answer. Next one, see the next one, n is a two digit number which is divisible by 16, when 4 is added to the n, then it is divisible by both 4 and 6. Maximum value of n minus 8 is what percent less than 250 percent of the minimum possible value of n plus 4. So, here n is a two digit number which is divisible by 16. So, what are the two digit number divisible by 16? So, the two divisible uh, two, uh, two digit number divisible by 16 or 16, 32, 48, then you will get 64, 80 and also 96. These are the possible two digit number which are divisible by 16. When 4 is added to n, so this all we can take as n. Now, when 4 is added to the n, then it is divisible by both 4 and 6. Now, if 4 is added to n, it, is divisible, it should be divisible by both 4 and 6. For which one it is possible? Suppose, if we add 16 plus 4, 20, divisible by 4, it is not divisible by 6. 32 plus 4, 36, it is divisible by both 4 and also 6. 48 plus 4, 52, not divisible by 6. It should be divisible by both 4 and 6. 64 plus 4, 68, it is also not divisible by 6. 80 plus 4, 84, divisible by both 4 and 6. 
96 plus 4, 100 divisible by 4, but not by 6. So, we will get two numbers 84 and 36. That means, the possible value for n here are either 32 or 80. Now, maximum possible value of n minus 8. So, maximum value is 80, 80 minus 8, 72. Similarly, n plus 4, minimum value of n plus 4, minimum value is 32, 32 plus 4, 36. We want 250 percent of 36, 250 percent is how much? See, 250 percent is nothing but 5 by 2. So, 250 percent is nothing but 5 by 2, 2 1s, 2 18s, you will get 90. So, one number is 90, one number is 72. So, what is our question? n minus 8 that is 72. So, we can do with 18, 18 4s, 18 5. 4 is how much less than 5? That is the question. 4 is 1 less than 5. So, 1 by 5 is equal to 20 percent. Option 5 is the correct answer. Let us see the next one. Question number 3. N women can do the work in N minus 7 days, while N plus 5 women can do the same piece of work in N minus 8 days. Find the time taken by N minus 1 women to complete the 3 times of the same work. Now, N women can do the work in N minus 7 days, whereas N plus 5 women can do the work in N minus 8 days. Now, if you do this uh, simplification, n square minus 7 n is equal to n square minus 8 n plus 5 n minus 40. So, n square n square will get cancel. Now, minus 8 n plus 5 n is minus 3 n. If you get minus 3 n to this side, it will become plus 3 n. So, here this is minus 3 n, this is minus 3 n. Now, this is minus 3 n. If you send this minus 7 n, it will be 7 minus 3, 4 n is equal to 40. Therefore, n value 10. Now, what about total work? So, n men can, n women can do the work in n minus 7 days. n means 10, n minus 7 means 3. So, what is the total work? 30. 30 is the total work. Now, find the time taken by n minus 1 n minus 1 is 9, 9 women will do 3 times of the same work, 3 times of the same work means 30 into 3 or 90, that is 90 by 9, that is nothing but 10 days. So, 10 days is the correct answer, option 2 is the correct answer. Let us see the next question. When two trains P and Q are running in the opposite direction, they cross each other in 10 seconds and when running in the same direction, uh, train Q crosses P in 130 by 3 seconds. If the speed of Q is 144 kilometer per hour and it crosses 300 meters long platform in 15 seconds, find the difference between the length of P and Q. Now here, there are two trains P and Q. The speed of Q is 144, it crosses 300 meters long platform in 15 seconds. So, all of you know the formula for distance, distance equal to speed into time. Here distance means Q is crossing 300 meter long platform, therefore, therefore Q length plus platform length, what is the platform length 300, that is the distance and speed, it is given 144 kilometer per hour, we should convert into meter per second into how many seconds? 15 seconds. 18 ones, 18 eights. 8 into 5, 40. 40 into 5, 600. Therefore, Q length plus 300 is equal to 600. Therefore, Q length is 300. So, we got the length of Q. What is the length of Q? 300 meters. Next one. When two trains P and Q, they are running in the opposite direction. We do not know P length, we do not know P length, but it is crossing Q in opposite direction in how many seconds? 10 seconds. So, here P is crossing Q in opposite direction in 10 seconds. So, we do not know P length, 
I am taking P length as P only and P speed S. Yes. Length of P is P, length of uh, speed of P is S. Yes. Now, what is the first equation? It is crossing when running in the same direction, train Q crosses train P in 133. When two trains P and Q are crossing each other. So, what is P length plus Q length? P length is P only, Q length you got 300. They are crossing each other in the same direction and how many seconds? 10 seconds. Because they are crossing in the same direction, the relative speed will be the difference of P speed and Q speed. So, what is Q speed? It is 144 into 5 by 18 that is nothing but 40. So, it will be S minus 40. S minus 40. Now, first of all opposite, opposite means plus, S plus 40. This is P length, this is Q length in 10 seconds, S plus 40. With this, uh, what equation you will get? With this, what equation you will get? Let us see what equation we are going to get with this. You will get P plus 300 is equal to 10S plus 400, 10S plus 400 or else P minus 10S is equal to 100. This is one equation, P minus 10S is equal to 100. Then while running in the same direction, while running in the same direction, it is taking uh, to cross P in 130 by 3 seconds. So, while running in the same direction, it is taking 130 by 3. This time we will get 40 minus S. Why? Because Q is crossing P. So, Q speed should be greater. What is Q speed? 40. 40 minus S. Now, if you solve this equation, you will get 3P plus 900 is equal to 130 into 4 that is 52, 5200 minus 130 S. This is what we will go, we are going to get or 3 P plus 130 S is equal to 4300, 4300. So, you got two equations. Now, instead of writing here 3 P, how you can write? Here P is equal to 100 plus 10 S. So, substitute instead of P 100 plus 10 S. So, 3 of 100 plus 10 S plus 130 S is equal to 4300. Therefore, it will give 300 plus 130 plus 30 160 S. 4300 160 S is equal to 4000. You will get S value. 25. S value you got 25 that is the speed of P. We want the length of P. We want the length of P. Substitute the length of P in any one of the equation. I am substituting here. So, P length is nothing but 100 plus 10 S. S means 25, 25 into 250. So, P length we got 350. Q length you got 300. So, 1 is 350, 1 is 300. Difference is 50 meters. The answer is 50 is the correct answer. 50 meters is the correct answer. Option 3 is the correct one. Let us see the next question. Let us see the next question. Question number 5. P and Q they entered into a business. Q initial investment is 200 less than P initial investment. After 8 months, P withdraw 400 and after another 2 months, Q invested 500 more and S yes, joined with 1200 more than P initial investment. If at the end of the year, the profit of P and S is 5 is to 1, find the initial investment of P. We are having 3 person P, Q, R. <coughs> now, Q initial investment is 200 less than P initial investment. So, let us take Q initial investment as X. Q is 200 more than P means 
P will be 200 more than Q. So, P will be X plus 200. After 8 months, so this will be for 8 months, P withdraw 400. Then it will become X minus 200 balance 4 months. Balance will be for 4 months. Now, coming to Q, after another 2 months, so this will be for 10 months. 8 months after means it will be 10 months. Q is investing 500 more. Now, it is X plus 500 balance 2 months. So, total 1 year already 10 months over. Now, remaining 2 months. Then we are having S. Yes, it is not R. It is a yes. Sorry. Now, we are having third person called S. Yes. S yes joined him with 1200. Now, S is joining 1200 after 10 months. S is joining with 1200 more than P initial investment. What is P initial investment? X plus 200. S is joining with 1200 more. So, it will be X plus 1400 and after 10 months S is joining. So, balance it will be for only 2 months. Now, let us solve this one. This is 8X plus 4X, 12X. 1600 minus 800 is 800. This is P. 10x plus 2x is 12x plus 1000 plus 1000. This is 2x plus 2800. Now, the ratio of P and S. P value 12x plus 800. S value 2x plus 2800. That ratio is given 5 is to 1. Now, if you solve this one, 12x plus 800 is equal to 10x plus 28 into 5, 140, then do zeros. So, it is 14,000, 2x is equal to 13,200, x value 6,600. We want initial investment of Q. What is the initial investment of Q? X only. So, answer is 6600. 2 is the correct answer. Next question. Let us see the next one. In each of the questions, a wrong uh, number series is given. We have to identify the wrong number. Find Now, let us see. There will be one wrong number. We have to identify that one. 8, 20, 51, 220, 1075, 6482, 45353. We have to identify the wrong number. Now, if you observe this one closely, it is not possible only by addition or subtraction. Definitely, this involves the multiplication. Now, how to take the multiplication? See, 8, 20, 20 again, 40, 50, 50 again, 220. 220, 1075. This will be into 5, this is into 4, this is into 3, this is into 2. Now, 8 into 2, 16 plus 20 means 2 square. 8 into 2 plus 2 square. Now, 20 into 3, 60 minus 3 square. 60 minus 9, 51, correct. Then, into 4 plus 4 square. 51 into 4, 204 plus 16, 220. This is also correct. Then, what we should do? Into 5 minus 5 square. 220 into 5, 1100. 1100 minus 25, 1075. So, this is also correct. Then, into 6 plus 6 square. 1075 into 6, 1075, 6, 5, 30, 45, 6450 plus 36 will give 6486 which is the correct. So, 6482 is the wrong. This is the wrong number, 6482, 6, is the correct. Next one, <coughs> 0 0.05, <coughs> 3.6, 129, 2,330.8, 20,995.2, 94,478.4. So, these are the numbers. We have to identify what is the wrong number. 
now if you identify this one carefully here there is a decimal after two places here there is a decimal after one place here also there is the decimal after one place and uh, the numbers are increasing only multiplication now what we will do you see 3.6 by 0 0.05 so here there is a point after one place here there is a point after two place so here there is one point uh, extra so you add one zero 360 by 5 72 that means what we can say it is equal to 0 0.05 into 72 now 1296 by 36 129.6 so that will give exactly 36 so what we will do into 36 first time into 72 next into 36 next one should be into 18 so it is 1296 into 18 so how much we are going to get 1296 into 18 18 6 108 18 nines 162 172 18 2 36 53 23 so we should get 2332.8 so this is the wrong number 2330.8 is the wrong one next question 28 again 28 35 59 124 248 and 463 <coughs> Now, 28, 28, there is no gap, 28, 35, 7 gap, 35, 59, that is 24 gap, 59 and 124, so 41 plus 24, 65, 124, 248 means again 124 gap, 248, 463 means 215 gap. Now, if you observe this one clearly, it is nothing but 2 cube minus 1. This is 3 cube. How much you should get? 3 cube minus 1 you should get. This one is 5 cube minus 1. This one 6 cube minus 1. Therefore, 3 cube minus 1 should be 26. That means 35 plus 26 should be equal to 61 which is the correct one 59 is the wrong one here 59 is the wrong number 61 should be the correct one next one 82 <coughs> then 84 96 132 212 363 614 now if you observe the difference two gap 12 gap, then 36 gap is there, then 132 and it is 80 gap. Now, if you observe this one clearly, all are even numbers except this one. So, clearly you can say this is the wrong number, but what is the pattern? Let us check. This is uh, nothing but 2 cube plus 2 square, 2 cube plus 2 square. This is 3 cube plus 3 square. This is 4 cube plus 4 square. This is 1 cube plus 1 square. Similarly, here you should get 5 cube plus 5 square, which is equal to 150. So, 212 plus 150 should give 362, which is the correct. So, 363 is the wrong one. Second one is the wrong. Let us see the next one. <coughs> the table given shows the total applications received for five different posts in the office. Also, table shows the percentage of invalid applications and ratio of <coughs> male and female valid applications. Read the data carefully, then answer the question. Now, here we are having one table. These are the different posts. These are the total applications received. This is the invalid. So, this is the valid. In valid, we are having male and female ratio. 11 is to 7, 29 is to 21. This is O, 43 is to 17 Q. So, this M, P, N, O, Q, these are the variables which are missing, which we have to find as per the question. 
let us see first one if the difference between the male applications and female valid applications so you have to see this one for post a for post a male ap valid applications are 11 female applications are 7 so the difference what is the difference four parts it is given 200 therefore one part is equal to 50 therefore 18 parts equal to 18 into 50 900 11 plus 7 18 18 parts 900 these are valid see invalid is 40 so valid will be 60 now find m m means total total means always you should take for 100 percent is how much so 100 by 60 into 900 you will get 1500 so m value you got 1500 what is m value 1500 this is what percent more than the total applications received by e total applications received by e 800 800 so now no need to take two zeros 15 is how much more than 8 15 is 7 more than 8 7 by 8 is always equal to 87.5 percent you need not calculate that one you should remember one thing 1 by 8 is 12.5 7 by 8 means multiply 12.5 with 7 that will give 87.5 option 2 is the correct answer see the next question <coughs> if the difference between the valid male applications and valid female applications for d now for d valid male applications 43 and 17 the difference 26 parts that is given 234 therefore one part is equal to 9 if one part is equal to 9 60 parts 43 plus 17 60 is 540 this 540 is equal to 45 percent why because invalid 55 valid 45 we want total of d total of d means 100 percent so 100 by 45 into 540 9 fives 9 six. 5 ones 520 we will get d total 1200 then b total 1400 this is d this is b and c total already 1600 so total we will get 4200 as the correct answer option a is the correct one 4200 total applications let us see the next one if the difference between the valid male applications and valid female applications for A is 100, find the difference between M and invalid of C. Now difference between male valid and ma female valid of A. Now this is A, male valid 11, female valid 7, difference 4 parts that is given 100, 1 part is 25, 18 parts 25 into 18, 450 this 450 is equal to 60 percent because invalid is 40 valid 60 we want total m is total total means 100 100 by 60 into 450 23s 25s 31 350 you will get 750 so m value 750 we want the difference between m and invalid of c C total is 1600, C total 1600, invalid means 35 percent, so 1600 into 35, 16 fives 80, 48 5 60. So you have to find the difference between 750 and 560, so the answer is 190, 190 means option 3 is the correct answer. Next question, if the number of the valid male applications for E is 40 more than valid female applications for the same post. Find the uh, ratio of valid female applications to valid male applications for E. You have to find the ratio. See valid E total 800, invalid 60, so valid will be 40, valid will be 40, so 800 into 40 by 100 that will give 320 these are valid in this there will be female and male so male is 40 more than female so female x 
and male will be x plus 40. Therefore, 2x plus 40 is equal to 320, 2x is equal to 280, x value 140. So, this is 140, this one is 180. We want ratio of the female to male. Female is 140, you can take 14 and 18. So, 2, 7, 2, 9. The answer is 7 is to 9. Option 4. Now, let us see the last one. If the difference between the valid male applications and valid female applications for B is 112, B valid male 29 parts, female 21. So, 8 parts is given 112. Therefore, 1 part is 14. We want N we want n. So, total 29 plus 25 is 50, 50 into 14 700. So, in B there are total 1400 applications out of which valid you got 700, valid 29 plus 21 50, 50 into 14 700. Therefore, invalid also will be 700. So, invalid 700 means that is n. So, n value is 700. Then, find the sum of n and total applications of C. Total applications of C 1600. So, you want the sum of 1700 plus sorry 700 plus 1600 that will give 2300. So, 2300 is the correct answer. Option will be 1 one is the correct answer. Tomorrow we will discuss one more class.